Hello and welcome. This video is designed to give you an overview of the lockbox processing for Acumatica add-on designed by Crestwood Associates. If your organization is currently using or considering using Acumatica as your ERP system and your customers send their payments to a bank lockbox and you would like to quickly and more accurately apply those payments to AR invoices, then you are watching the right video. During the next several minutes, I'll walk you through the process of uploading your bank's lockbox file into Acumatica, demonstrate how our module can automatically match payments to customer invoices, show how you can make manual adjustments if needed, and discuss a few not so uncommon scenarios like how to handle a customer making a partial payment or receiving a payment without a corresponding AR invoice. So let's begin. First and foremost, it's important to note that Crestwood's lockbox processing module is built directly in Acumatica and therefore can use the tools and functions native to the system. Once our module is installed, you will have a lockbox workspace that's logical and intuitive. Earlier today, I logged into my bank's website and downloaded the lockbox file they provided to my hard drive. As you would guess, I'll now select Upload Lockbox File, which will automatically open an import scenario. At the risk of sounding a little technical here, part of the configuration of our module includes preparing the data provider fields and mapping those fields to this lockbox import scenario so it supports the format of your bank's lockbox file. It's a one-time configuration which allows me to upload file version. I can select the most recent bank file, upload, prepare, and then import. Next, I'll go to lockbox payment review to take a look at what was just imported. When I select create new lockbox payment, this gives me a lockbox payment number for this batch of payments and automatically brings me to my payment matching screen. From here, we're going to let our module try to match all these payments to existing AR invoices by selecting auto match. Now here's what happened behind the scenes during this process. First, it attempted to match by both invoice number and customer. If there was not an exact match for both, it next looked at just the invoice number. If it couldn't find a match to the invoice number, it looked at the invoice amount and customer. Finally, if there was a not an exact match for any of the above, it simply looked for a matching invoice amount. The results of this auto match are displayed here. When a payment shown at the top is automatically matched to an Acumatica document, the match box is checked, the match type is auto, and a check link number will be automatically created. This link number helps you to see the matching document at the bottom. So if we look at check link 0001, notice there are two of them and they have the same check number. What I can tell from here is that the customer wrote a check for 46750, which was used to pay for two separate invoices. My bank knew how to divide this and separated the payment in their file. So at the bottom, I'll look at check link 0001 and see each invoice was paid in full and now have a zero balance. So the ones that are matched and have a zero balance are great but I might want to take a closer look at those that do have a balance. I can use standard Acumatica functionality to create a filter to show me any balance not equal to zero. So a few of my customers didn't pay the correct amount. I see this one underpaid by $2. For that amount, my company might have a policy to just write off the balance, which I can do over to the right. Another customer underpaid by $300. 
I'm just going to leave that as a balance on my customer's account so we can still collect that. Now let's remove that quick filter and take a look at a few other auto match scenarios. You'll notice ABC Studios used a sales order number instead of an invoice number, but because of system logic, it found it based on customer and invoice amount. So you can see my auto matching works well, but if you look at the summary at the top, we can see my lockbox payment total does not match the total for payments to create and apply. So there are still unmatched payments. So let's again use our quick filter to just show payments with the match type of not matched and manual so we can reduce the list to only see the ones needing manual attention. Let's first look at this unmatched payment from electronic importers and try to manually find a match. I'll select document lookup, then create a filter to just show open documents for electronic importers. Here, I'll notice that these two open documents added together total this payment amount. So I'll select those two invoices, then add and close. From here, I will change my filter to just show unmatched documents at the bottom. I select the payment at the top, the matching invoices at the bottom, and choose manually link. The system assigns a check link number to match the check with the corresponding payments. Now let's go through the same process to see if we can find open AR documents for active staffing. It doesn't appear they have any outstanding AR invoices. So in this case, I can choose to create a payment and we can apply that payment at a later time. Alternatively, I could have also chosen to create the customer document to easily set up an AR invoice. Then I can add and manually link them. For now, I'll just create the payment and plan to apply it later. Now, if we look at our summary at the top, our lockbox payment total does match our total apps and payments. So at this point, I can just process all matched payments. My status for this lockbox number has changed to completed. As a final step, let's go to our receivables workspace and choose release AR documents. All those payments that have been applied are put in a balance state. We can either manually release them here by choosing release all, or if your company has added this to a schedule so it runs at various intervals, you can just wait for that to occur. For now, I'll choose release all. Our steps are complete. To completely close the loop, let's take a quick look at payments and applications and open a few that we worked with. First, you can easily see that these payments were created as part of a lockbox batch since a description will contain that lockbox number. You'll also notice all payments are closed, except for active staffing. Once an AR invoice is released for them, we can add the document and apply this payment to it at a later time. Let's also look at best type image. They underpaid by $2, which we chose to write off. If we take a look at the journal transactions created, we'll be able to see that right off here. Finally, let's take a look at Boulder Couriers. They underpaid by $300, which we chose not to write off. So if we head into that invoice, we'll still be able to see that $300 balance and notice the status of this invoice is open. I hope you enjoyed this short demo of Crestwood Associates Lockbox Processing Add-on for Acumatica. You saw how easy it was to upload your bank's lockbox file, have the module auto match to existing AR documents, and how you can manually match any documents the system does not find. This will help save you time and reduce errors. 
all while never having to leave your favorite ERP system, Acumatica.